Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of the Breath of the Wild. We have pretty much everything we need to go and beat the game, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit more and get some more shrines first. So that's what we're gonna start doing now. Two orbs to guide you. And yeah, that's pretty much how it's gonna go. Well, there's an orb there, so let's just bump that. Oh, that was too much bump, too much bump. Because it shot, I because I shot two arrows. That makes sense. Um, I don't really have any bad bows, unfortunately. I'm gonna just use my royal bow. That's not got any extra effects on it. Go in the hole. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should upgrade my bow storage so I can get more bows that aren't good. Basically, uh, I think now I need to open that. Yeah, and I can just throw an orb in. And then that's gonna do that in the middle there. Or that. Okay, it's gonna move that platform. Interesting that the the lights on it turn blue. I wonder something about this. This makes me wonder. I am curious now. I wanna, I wanna learn something, if I can, but it involves me finishing the shrine and then going back in, because I don't think I've ever gone into a completed shrine before, to recollect collect things. Unless I'm missing a treasure chest somewhere. Of course I am. But where? Probably wanna. No, that treasure chest tracking. Was I gonna get rid of that? green marker now. Okay, it's this way? Oh, there it is. Hopefully not one on the other side as well. I think it's just this one. A royal bow! Yay! Oh, I actually do have more space than I realized. I just have more good bows than I realized as well. So that should be all the chests in the shrine, yes? Yes. So my theory is that like, I don't know if this is true or not, but I think if I leave the shrine once it's completed and come back, some of these, the orange markers on the walls might be blue. I mean, if it's not, I'm going to be upset, because that would be cool. And it makes sense too, because it's a clear shrine. And the answer is no. And I'm very sad that it's not gonna do that. That'd be so cool if it turned turned those orange. Anyway, let's head to another shrine. Let's go to that one over there now. I was thinking about doing that one last time, but nope. I was also thinking about doing this one last time, but I also ran out of time. So teleporting up here should be a good place to start from. We can pretty much glide all the way down from up here, from Faruta. I remember being up here a billion years ago. Oh my goodness, how time flies. The um, oh the the shrine where we had to get the um, the buck on top of the pedestal, I think, is also like across from here somewhere, probably back there. But anyway, the wind's trying to push me back at the moment, which is not helping at all. Let me go down. I think it doesn't want me to go towards this shrine easily. Because if we get closer, I believe spikes will be around this shrine. Yes, there is. I don't even know if I can burn these spikes, but I might. Actually, it might... No, I don't think I can burn these spikes, but I'm going to double check, because that'd be cool if I can. And the answer is... Oh my goodness, that... The Zalfos just goes all the way around to get to me. Yeah, no, it doesn't... it doesn't do that. Interesting. So yeah, this one's a little bit trickier to get into, you just have to walk through the maze. It's basically the flower shrine, but without the flowers. 
but it's the same result anyway. Okay, five flames. I remember this shrine. And if you once you know that these these things attached to the crystals are arrows, it helps a lot. But anyway, for this shrine, we need oh I need regular arrows, I think. That could be problematic. Very problematic. But I think I might be okay, maybe? Hope that these chests give me... Okay, silver bow. A bow favoured by the Zora for fishing. Doesn't boast the highest firepower, but there are the special metal it's crafted from. Prioritizes durability. Please be regular arrow. Opal! Okay then. I don't know what to do. Oh, actually, this is just a regular thing. So I could light all of the fires with fire arrows. But I probably shouldn't. Now, which way do I want to rotate this block? I probably want to hit that one. To light that on fire. Does that work? Yes. And then... Oh, turning this round will put that into the fire. The, the water going down is actually pretty good. If you have the water spout going down, it won't put out any of the, um... Any of the fires that you need to light up, the torches. And if you can just light them all up, you don't have to worry about it anyway. I think there's one more on the other side. Which I guess I could just rotate this for. So let me change my arrow back again. Let's rotate it that way. And that should be all of them. Just remember that those crystals have the arrows on them pointing which way it's going to rotate the block. And this block is a mirror of that block. And the water spout puts out fires if it comes to contact with them, so... Anyway, that's that shrine done. I'm pretty sure I got all the chests in there. Yep. Okay, where to next? Still got those two markers there. I've also got this one up here. I can set as one of those. And there's also some puzzle shrines that I have to do, like that, those sh the shields, basically. There's three of those. So I have to look at those as well at some point. So let me see, where do I want to go? Probably I'm going to go to Elden Tower and then glide down to one of the markers that I have. Okay, let's see. Which market do I want to go for? Probably the blue one. Also, I'm pretty sure we pointed out at some point that there's a shrine there. So let me put that there so we can get that at some point. I'm pretty sure we saw that one there. But I apparently forgot to mark it. Sorry, let's go over to the blue. Wherever that is. We should be okay. Also, I'm pretty sure we took out Guardian Stalkers before, but I forgot about it. Which is fine. I just thought that the first ones I fought were the ones near Harrow Castle, but no. We already fought ones over here first. So we must be more prepared than I realize. But still. There are still things on the map that we have marked that we can clean up. There's the shrine down there. Just gonna go past this outpost, completely ignoring it. When it comes to finding Koroks, I'm gonna have a lot more trouble. Okay, the power of fire. Well, I can probably 
take a guess at what needs to be done here. Also, just quickly, I need to check the map to see where this is exactly. Please. Um, I think I actually just marked this wrong. Let me unmark that and mark it differently. Okay. Well, we have this these fire things knocked over. Well, one of them's knocked over, so we should know what to do. Oh, well, that, we can actually just knock that over. Okay. So you can just knock these around, apparently. I thought I needed to... Magic? What? That was... That was not lit before. But, but hitting it set it on fire. Okay. I'm not gonna question it much more than I already have. Let's just take out this guardian. Who apparently doesn't want to die to fire. I don't want to break my torch. Oh well. I can get more torch. Whatever weapon I use is going to be a waste of usage and attack. Anyway, that's fine. Also, I could have used fire to burn him. and Oh, but I did, but it didn't work. Anyway. Let's just shoot that down. Setting more fires. One of my favorite things. Ah! Don't burn. <laughs> oh, and the boxes in there need to burn as well. That's very cool. I guess we could just use bombs to speed things up, but also... Also, no. I guess boomerangs are actually fairly useful for the shrine. If used correctly. Or not used correctly. Where's the boomerang? There it is. Burn everything there to burn those two boxes, which are gonna let this panel thing fold down onto the switch. That's a pretty cool way to do that. You have to you have to burn two things to get the, that to open. We've already got the chests in the shrine. Oh, and it's over already. Okay then, that works for me. Okay, next point is over there. How far down is it? A fair way, so I could actually probably go from up here and glide down to there. Instead of going all the way up to the tower. Okay. Might have been used for Vardy Scale just to get a little bit of extra height. And let's go. Do I want to head straight towards it or do I want to go around? I don't know. Probably want to go around a little bit. There are also skulls over here with enemies inside that I didn't realize were here. I might be too far down now. That's okay. I'm gonna just go up this way then. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, there's a bit more path over here, and there's the shrine. I don't think I've done the shrine before, which is interesting. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. 
This will be a new experience for me, probably. Unless it's a test of strength. Nope, it's passing the flame. I also think I have seen this one. So never mind. Everything's fine. I have a flame blade. But it's not gonna burn. It's not gonna burn. Flame spear, maybe. If it's actually gonna do its job. There we go. Nice. Those boxes were in the way. Come on. Oh, please. Really? Okay then. Well, I don't think there is anything else hidden back here anyway. So I can probably be okay to move on. But burning things is fun. <laughs> yeah, that looks like everything back here. There is, of course, a torch here. You need two torches back here. If you have a, a torch to actually carry the fire with. Okay, get over that. And... Hmm. 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 I wonder what I should do here. It's definitely pile up all this wood in one spot and then set the whole thing ablaze. I hope I can do that. I don't know if I can, but I can hope. Yeah. Drop that there. Okay, push this crate over this way. Also, you could definitely just climb over that, probably. Yeah, you can. But where's the fun in that? Where you can burn everything. I'm pretty sure I did this last time I did this shrine as well. Okay, you just sit there. Gotta burn that open. Oh, so satisfying. Stone Smasher. Okay. Also need to get this out of this corner somehow. Can I get this out of this corner? Can I, like, freeze that and then unfreeze it? Okay, that kind of worked. Kind of. Just need to knock it back a little bit more. Just don't set any boxes on fire. That's, that's going against the whole point of this. Oh, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. Um, well, at least this key that... The chest was it was in the chest, but burned out. The, that that's cool. The key was in the chest, but the chest burned, so that we get the the key was just dropped out of it. That's so cool. Anyway, a ruby from that chest there. I'm not sure if I can actually get these boxes down. Unfortunately, yeah. Let me try. Putting more effort in. There we go. Where'd it go? Oh, did it break? No! It broke. It got broke. I still think this stone chest is in the way. There we go. Fixed it. Now let's get these boxes into place. This is a lot of setup, which is a lot of setup for something that's not going to last long. Oh, come on. Just push it. Rotate it. Do it. Nope. Okay. Fine. If that's the way it's going to be, I'm going to get another barrel. Just going to put that there. Oh, this one's in the corner again. Mm. I don't know how I can angle this correctly. Like that, apparently. Oh, please don't go too far. Please don't go too far. Please don't go too far. Ow. Did it break? No, it didn't. Good. Great. It's perfect. It's so perfect. Okay. 
Now I just need to set it on fire somehow. <laughs> well, there's an easy solution. Also, I'm going to just burn that quickly. I don't think I needed to do that. But I'm just going to aim the floor here and burn. Burn it all. Burn. 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 Pretty sure that was worth it. Anyway, that should be all the chests in this shrine, so let's go. You're supposed to burn it down so the, the, the bridge comes down. But you're actually supposed to burn everything in the room to be satisfied. Now I could go to the other, one of the other marked shrines that I have. But I actually want to do something else at the moment. Let's go to the Hebra Tower. For something special. Oh. Cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Okay, I'm fine now. Apparently. So, the way I want to go is... Just down this way, basically. I want to go into this hole. This wide, long hole. Okay. This may take a little bit to get down to. But I also probably want to set to the shrine tracking. Going a little bit off course now that I'm targeting nothing. But anyway, once we get a little bit lower down here, we can see that there's something down here actually. Let's go a little bit further down. Don't know if there's anything up there, but if we go even further down here. Well, there's a forgotten temple. It looks like there's a rock over here, which I'm guessing is going to have a Korok inside of it. Maybe? Am I wrong? No, I'm right. Okay. Now, let's go back over this way. Let's see if what happens if I go down here a bit more. A bit more. Okay. So, with this temple here. So let's just go through it and walk, walk through. This is a pretty cool place though because, um, uh, well, um, well, you see, uh, it's kind of a, kind of a lot of guardians here. But I guess I'll just float past them. This is a fun place to be. Shrine nearby. Oh look, more more guardians shooting at me. Guess I'll just glide glide by. I'll go fast, go faster. But anyway, if I'm making it all the way through, there's a there's a shrine here. Gonna activate that, but not gonna go into it just yet. Hang on. Because there is something even cooler right here. And that is the biggest goddess statue you can find. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what you desire. Well, I can't get any more stamina. What do you say for you? I do saying. Okay. Increase with my heart container, please. Yes.
This is just cool that this gigantic goddess statue exists. Oh. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know. I'm gonna climb up because I know there, there's definitely gonna be a Korok up there. Oh, it's a high, high. It's high. Maybe? I hope there's a Korok up there. How do I get higher? Let me go up here. The shrine can wait. Okay, up a little bit more. Nothing over here. I can go on top of the statue. Um. Oh, don't fall off, 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 don't, fall off, don't, don't, don't fall off. Is there really no Korok up here? No, there is. It's just invisible. And that is 100 Koroks. One eighth of all the Koroks in the game. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of Koroks. So many Korok. Anyway, let's go into the shrine now. Taking a whole heart of damage on my way down. Oh, and it's just a blessing. How kind. What a gift. A great flame blade. Just what I need. May the goddess smile upon you, the gigantic, crazy, gi absolutely massive, gi big as a planet sized goddess statue smile upon you. Anyway, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.